My name is Aka Nani. I'm a media practitioner. So I'm an actor, I'm a content producer, creator. Um, I'm a talk show host, basically uh, a creative in the media industry. So yeah, that's what I do. Well, because of the kind of industry that I'm working in, um, grooming is quite important, even though I'm uh, not very, very particular about looking like perfect. But, and a lot of people in the industry do, or are very particular about looking perfect, but I'm not. Um, but yeah, looking good and looking presentable is very, very important to me. And I love good skin. <laughs> I'm a very big fan, huge fan of Dermalogica. So I use Dermalogica a lot uh, for cleansing, for exfoliating, and also for moisturizing. So yeah, um, I use a lot of Dermalogica. It's quite expensive. Please, if you have something that works just right, but cheap, just alert me, because I need them. Basically, so funny story. I was at some event, and then I turn around and I see Michelle Dede. She's an actor, I'm sure you know her. She was looking like a Grecian goddess. She was glowing and she had no makeup on. And I was just like, oh, 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 what is happening? What is happening? Like, why are you glowing? What's happening to your skin? And she was like, two secrets. I was like, tell me. And then she was like, yo, SPF and vitamin C. Before then I had bought SPF. I kept it in my room, kept it inside locker. <laughs> so she was like, she uses it every uses it every day. My dear, the wife fished out my SPF that day when I went home. So since that day, I've been using SPF uh, and also taking vitamin C. Go to grooming products. Clipper. When you go to Baba, that's it. Just cut me up. Friction. That's it. Yeah. What inspires me is um, love, fun, laughter, and whatever makes people happy and when I'm happy. So when I'm tired, when I'm maxed out, when I'm overworked, I can't create content. I can't. Um, so basically, I still talk about politics. I am still passionate about politics, but because I don't create as much content and because when you start out on YouTube with what you want, you think you know what you want, but then the market, the audience tells you what they want you to talk about. So the audience fashioned out what Akabans was or grew out to be, which was, you know, more commentary and more laughter. But then I can talk about politics and then infuse those elements into them. <laughs> First of all, challenge that we all face, we all face, is money. If you're broke, it will stop you from creating amazing content or the content that you want to create. So being broke doesn't stop you from creating content. It just limits your content, you know, creation ability. Um, also, no light. When there's no light, when partial light is not doing a job, when you don't start, the news is not paying you know, We need checks from brands. And brands, agencies, they don't get it. <laughs> Okay, so I started acting because I feel like it pulled me. Um, like I, I used to work in a telecoms industry and you know, I just resigned because I couldn't take it anymore. I knew I was meant to do, be doing something else. I wasn't bad at my job, I loved my job. And people loved me, but it was time. And uh, I can't, what are you going to do? I'll take my you know? Um, so acting was just one of those things that I knew pulled me and even though it was hard because I didn't believe that I was good enough, but somehow my friends rallied around me, pushed me to go for auditions, and I did, and bam. First audition I went for, I scored a gig, and since then I started honing in, just realizing that, no, I fell in love with acting. I started acting right, actually, before Akaban. When I started acting, 2015, yeah, I started acting 2015. Fantasy um, and epic. I love Greek mythology. It, see, even if it's Greek mythology that they used 1,000 pounds to act. Hmm? Low budget production. Are we watching? I'll be insulting, but are we watch? So, um, yeah, um, Greek mythology, epic shows, epic TV shows, um, fantasy, you know, all these ones that they have, unicorn, you know, people that are elves, magic, and all of that. I love it. 
Uh, those are my best genres. And also, yeah, sci-fi action. Yeah. So I will mention one Nigerian and one American. Shafi Bello. I have to give it to her. Shafi Bello is my best Nigerian actor. Yeah. Yeah. Then, American. I have to give it to Tom Hardy. Hey, Tom Hardy the acts. Tom Hardy they challenge. Like, you know the actors you watch and then they challenge you. It used to be Johnny Depp. But then Tom Hardy, he does not challenge you. You just be like, ah! This one is angels that will be dragging shoulder with this acting ability. But you see, my dream role, hey Jesus, is to be like evil, someone evil, like dark, a dark character. Like I want to be like Voldemort. Like I want to show people that this Aka, ah, like I want to be sinister. I want to see myself in five years. Also in five years, I see myself being the best husband and father um, to my family. Also, um, to be um, someone who has given a lending hand and a big of hope to the new generation of creatives. <laughs> They will do makeup. Jesus inspired my choice of career. Jesus said to me, this is, not, this is what I created you to be. This is what I want you to do. Yeah. I also inspired my career choice because I realized that I looked at myself and I'm like, this is what I'm built for. A lot of people, all my friends, tons of people told me I was in the wrong profession when I was working in the corporate industry, you know, white collar job. Everybody was seeing it, plus my colleagues. And I just felt like this was something I needed to like, listen to. And then I started praying and bam, God just gave me a scripture. I said, bro, move out. Um, beauty is your, the content of your soul. My girlfriend is a little bit of a woman. Um, sharpen your craft. Be a better you. So, first of all, great interpersonal skills. Great interpersonal um, communication skills. You have to talk well. You know, some actors that are good, but they can't really speak good English. That's already a minor. You understand? When you're like, um, I'm just gonna move there and I'm just gonna take the tea. You, no, no, you cannot. You cannot survive in the 21st century now, Nollywood. Wow, the secret to great skin. You must cleanse your skin. You must exfoliate your skin. You must moisturize your skin. And you must protect your skin. And drink lots of water and vegetables. Eat vegetables. Thank you.